Okay, this is a quick recording um, of my um, experimental demo for vlogging using the iPad Pro. So basically, now I'm recording the whole screen of the iPad Pro and I will be giving a demonstration of um, Apple Swift Playgrounds. So this app is only available for the iPad Pro at the moment. And I want to test this augmented reality um, kind of playground and let's start from scratch actually so you can see um, Swift Playground has a lot of example uh, that you can download and they're like kind of like a template and it's really something that you can actually make yourself um, using Xcode on the Mac um, but I'm gonna be downloading one for augmented reality and this should basically work on any, uh, I think, any iPad Pro is able to run this. Um, ideally, we should have some kind of a true depth uh, back camera, but I think uh, Apple make it so it works for even like a single camera. It, 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 it should work better with a dual camera of the iPhone, but... Um, Swift Playground is not available for the iPhone yet. So yeah, let's get started. So here, this is uh, the example for the AR and it's, it should give you all this step-by-step uh, -step, um, descriptions and explaining what the whole thing is all about. So basically you can augment like a virtual 3D objects uh, and then overlay it in front of the camera. So let's try this. Um, so for this example, you just need to enable um, camera vision. So let's do that real quick. Just tap the code and run the code and it's asking for access for the camera. Just say okay. So I get a very dirty ground right here. But it should be good enough and then now the camera should be able you can see in the camera there's like all these dots and that's mean um, the Apple AR kit is uh, tracking the floor cool okay let's continue with the next one playing playing around okay this one will actually play sound whenever it detects like a floor um, let's do this um, so, so there is a function already uh, let, uh, that's an empty, empty function it's called detected, uh, detected plane we just need to provide another function to play a sound and it says play sounds and bracket we just need to type dot and then find the presets let's try the point and let's run the code so now Whenever it found a floor, it should make like a loud noise there. Okay. Cool, should be working. Let's walk around, see, try to find another floor. All right, finding it hard to find another floor. Let's try a table. There you go. So let's continue. Let's stop it and then go to the next exercise. Set set your character on a plane. So let's uh. So basically, you can you can play some kind of anchor on the floor. And then you can have like a three D virtual character. So let's bring over the code. And so we will play a sound, but also we're gonna create a character. So Let's follow the procedure. Let's create a variable called hopper. So let um, hopper, okay, let's name it Bob. Value should be our character. Character name, actually, we should do it this way. So we need a function for the character and and then it should just give a 
character name character name should be like a dot let's use um, expert and then let's go to the next line create a new position okay double tap get our keyboard back new position using a point so let new position Um, equal point bracket and put that x and y so let's just give it a set one and two okay so there's there's a lot of funky thing with a with a swift playground app actually and let's call a plane so we need to write that plane and then use uh, this uh, function um, give our character name Bob and our point new position okay now I think we are done we just need to run the code it's gonna restart and it try to find a floor when if it's 